Hi guys, welcome to 10-7, which is polar coordinates. So it helped me to have the notes kind of written out. I'll also take pictures of them and post them on the classroom. But So we're moving on to polar coordinates, if you're wondering why we're jumping from chapter 5 to 10, um, is because we were just doing ordered pairs in one plane, and now we're moving to a different plane, which is the polar plane. And so, like you were supposed to read on Thursday, the polar coordinate system consists of a fixed point O, called the pole, and a ray, called the polar axis, with its initial point at O. Each point P in the plane can be labeled with polar coordinates, R theta, where R is the directed distance from O to P. Theta is an angle that's counterclockwise because it's in standard position with the terminal side at the ray OP. So to visualize what I just wrote and said, here is your pole, which is like your origin. Here is your theta. Again, it's counterclockwise. Again, that is your directed angle. Just like we've looked at before, this length here, that's R, which is your directed distance. We'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> and again, this is like your X and your Y. But instead of being X, Y, we're now looking at R comma theta. And this is called the polar axis, remember. So what types of problems are we going to look at in this section? Um, I'm going to post some polar graph paper. For those of you who have a printer and you want to use the polar paper, you can. For those of you who don't, you can make makeshift graphs like I am here because I do not have a printer at home. So no pressure to get it printed. So here are problems you're going to look at. So number one, plot the following in the polar coordinate system. So here is the point you're given, <clears throat> 2 comma pi over 4. So remember, 2 is the r and pi over 4 is your theta. And this is the polar plane. These circles are the grid. It's not like something that I drew in to be part of your answer. That's just the polar grid. Okay, and you have your 1, 2, 3, 4. That represents your r's. And then the circles, again, that's just your r's. But then, again, if I extend it, when you look at the graph paper that I post, you'll see that there'll be all these lines. Those represent your angles. So if I'm plotting the the point, we'll call it 2 comma pi over 4. That means I have to go 2, 2 r's out, and then I need to go to pi over 4. So when you draw it in, you'll see there in the green, you have the dot at 2, the point at 2 pi over 4, and then you also draw in a line segment from your pole of the origin out to your point. Okay, looking at one like number 2, here you have 3 comma negative pi over 6. So remember, I have to, again, I just kind of knew what I was going to do here and pre-made the graph. So we have to go to 3 r's out, and we're going to negative pi over 6. So remember, negative pi over 6 would be this one here. I put my dot, and then I would draw in my line. <clears throat> 